What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Roundtable. I'm your host, Osric Vaughn. I'm Richard Nemo. And my name is Tom. Tom, look, you just had like a PTSD flashback. <laughs> yeah, Tom. I mean, I do suffer from that, so. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're, <laughs> <laughs> we're here to talk about everyone's favorite seasonal award show. It's the that Grammys. time of the year. The MTV movie, I mean, the Oscars. <laughs> the VMAs. Yeah. I think we all made the same jokes, so let's, yeah, let's start with the Oscars. <laughs> I mean, I just followed what you guys were doing. Ladies and gentlemen, the Oscars come around every every year to give, well, actually, they're called the uh, the Academy Awards. Yeah, I don't even know who the Academy the is. The Oscar is, like, the actual award they grant. Yeah. That's the name of it, so this is called the Oscars. And Oscar. Ironically, does not look like the fish. No. <laughs> Shut what? up. Does not look like the fish, Oscar. Who? I'm, I'm waiting for one year. Oscar. They're, they're like... Who? Today's uh, this year's Oscar. Proud Family. I didn't really watch Proud Family growing up. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't really watch. Ooh. I didn't really watch Disney Channel in general. Ooh, ooh, so you missed out on like the two black shows you could have got our age. <laughs> I mean, I watched Family Matters. Did you yeah, watch Fillmore? Uh, cu- currently running black shows. Did you watch what? Raven's Home? <laughs> when did Family Matters end? I don't know. Was it running at our time? It was running on exactly. It was on uh, Nick State. at Night. Good point. I learned everything about sitcoms from Nick at Night, so... I think, for the most part, a lot of people are like, Yeah, I agree with these nominations. Some people are like, Oh, one Woman Got Snubbed. I'll talk about that in my news video. But... Plug. There's one category... Of the Oscars that, that gets done dirty every single gosh dang year. Mm-hmm. And that is the animation category! Well, why are we talking about animation on the roundtable, Kevin? Well, because the roundtable is your one-stop shop for animation fans by animation fans. Write that down. Uh, yeah, Tell all your friends. Good. Uh, uh, guys, no one, respects, family. no one respects animation. This wasn't even a category until Beauty and the Beast. And it's because somebody showed them all that it took. They're like, it takes that much to make an animated film? We'll give them a category. Like, literally, that's what happened. And they only have one category. One single category. That's all we get. And we're not even on there. <laughs> In case you were wondering. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, we know the Academy watches, so let's go easy on them. Okay, I'm sorry, This guys. bullshit cannot go on. Honestly. Ferdinand! <laughs> hey, man, that's Sean Cena. Sean Cena's a big draw, you got So, <laughs> this year, <laughs> really not the 2018 Oscar nominations are The Boss Baby. Okay, good. Off to a great start. The Breadwinner. Uh, Breadwinners? Yeah. No, not <laughs> Not that. to be confused with Nickelodeon nah, show. Nah, it's based on a book. Coco. Yeah. Great movie. Ferdinand. Oh. And Loving Vincent. What movie was that? It was a film based off of Vincent Van Gogh, and every fr- every single frame oh, of the film one? is painted. Yeah, oh, every okay. single frame of the film is painted. Yeah, it mm-hmm. looks amazing. Can't wait for it to get snubbed by Boss it, Baby. It literally looks like if you film something on like a HD camera and then just like put a filter over it, like it it's incredible. Whoa! Now I will say this though, okay. we gotta be honest with ourselves. Th- this isn't a competition between Boss Baby, Red Runner, Coco, Ferdinand, and Vincent. This is a competition between the Boss Baby and Coco. Yeah, honestly. And re- Everything else is fluff. The reason for that is because the Academy, people in the Academy have said they don't really watch the movies. They decide before the children likes. Ooh, so, wait, they have said that? Yes. Oh, I didn't even know that. Because, <laughs> again, a- they don't care about animation. They don't they, they don't sit down and they're not going to sit down and watch all five of these movies. So really, most of these don't have a chance to begin with. That's what I'm saying. Coco, box office hit, Pixar, it's probably going to win, but also Boss Baby. Probably made a lot of kids laugh. Personally, Ooh. I didn't enjoy the Boss Baby. A lot of kids tra- drag their parents to it. Uh, some people do like Boss They said, but Boss Baby is average or better than expected. Everyone had that aunt at a family event who's like, did you see the trailer for Boss Baby? Uh, I didn't. <laughs> it's a baby! And, you know, like, but, like, but he's not- also a boss. <laughs> Don't turn me down. Uh, that reminds me, at uh, Christmas time, I showed my family a uh, baby driver, and my grandma was like, this is going to be like one of those animated films where <laughs> a baby's driving. <laughs> Your grandma said that? <laughs> yeah. Get her on the podcast. No. <laughs> she's, that's hilarious. Uh, she supports us on Patreon. Fun little fact. But like, I think this is like a bigger problem because the Granny Oscars. Dollars. The Oscars are not what was the best film. It's what did these guys decide is going to win this award. And yeah. sometimes it's not even. Sometimes it's not even that. Sometimes it's like who, like lobbied for the film the best. Like who gave us the most money. Right. It's so dumb. 
And here's my beef with the animation or animated feature film. It's not clear why these awards are winning. Are they winning because of the production value of their animation, of the, the story, the overall quality, the music? Like, wh what determines this as the best animated film of 2018? Is it everything? Because... They don't even know what animation means. Exactly. That's why I'm thinking either, one, remove the animated film category and put these animated films in other categories. So, so you know, like, that the, the film that had the best sound design, if it happens to be animated, it still has as much of a chance as any other thing as any other films or make subcategories to the animated films like best animated film with sound design best animated film visually yeah is there an entire award show for animated movies yet i mean there's the any awards oh yeah well okay i covered I mean, it i mean that's not animated movies though. yeah that's, that's like tv shows that's just i thought that was all around animation oh, yeah it's just around. oh yeah. No, i'm just talking about like animated movies yeah Covering exactly my own track that, here. that's what he means yeah. um I know it only takes two things to pick the best animated Oscar. It takes an intern to look for the Disney logo, and a magnifying glass to make sure it's the Disney logo. <laughs> and then they pick it. It's like, oh. Is this Pixar? Uh, is this Pixar? Okay, we're good. Get, roll them in. Uh, Pixar theory. <laughs> Gotta win that. Gotta win that. Really good riding, folks. I wonder who's gonna accept it, because John Lasseter's a big creep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's true. The Lasseter. Has he thing. usually accepted the award? I feel like the directors are the ones who would get it. Mm -hmm. It's actually Walt Disney's award. head. That rules on stage. Like yeah. Futurama style? Yeah. And then he wings, he's like, you didn't see anything, and then rolls off. And every year he doesn't, we're like, we see it, Walt, and he's like, no, you don't, and he rolls away. And then he, then he usually makes an anti Semitic comment in his acceptance yeah. speech, and it's like, mm, just go back. <laughs> All right, it's his time. They play the music. If I had the rest of my body. If we wish upon a star. <laughs> just over the rant. Yeah. <laughs> now, just look at this list. There have been people vocal that. A few other animated films of 2017 were snubbed. Yeah, like mainly. The emoji movie? No, they can only pick five. Not I the Emoji it. movie, but this is bound to happen. But they picked bad ones. So the Lego Batman movie. Yes, I mean that was okay. And Captain Underpants. These two films are the ones people are up and down about saying, "Oh, we we were snubbed. That deserves a nomination." I and you know, even the director of Captain Underpants made that little sketch on Twitter of like Captain Underpants and poopy pants like like oh what no nomination which is like all right yeah that's pretty funny it was also it's like wow talk yeah, about like calm down being, yeah. <laughs> it's like when like, <laughs> like do you want to get nominated in the future buddy <laughs> yeah like geez louise i think if ferdinand wasn't on the list i don't even know what the breadwinner is so. oh no the breadwinner is based off the uh, novel it's about um a girl in afghanistan tabak control afghanistan who oh. discusses herself as a boy so she can work and provide for her family after her father is arrested. Damn, I missed a lot of good movies this year. Yeah, so I like like that. I feel like just like, off the concept alone, um, um, the trailer, the animation looked all right to me. Okay, but maybe I need to actually like sit down and watch it because I, I have not watched Breadwinner. I'm just gonna say it. I'm just I, gonna say I read it. the book when I was a kid. Yeah, I didn't think it was that good, but I was I hated school, so anything they made us read, I hated on <laughs> just on principle. Yeah, that darn Bible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but I feel like. They they would adapt that and take the adaptation of it or adaptation of it very seriously. I feel like they would do it respectably because that is a very serious topic. So I'm assuming that's we can we can just assume that's worth the Oscar nomination. Loving Vincent, every single frame painted. I mean that was that's what that you alone that, that that shows hard work. Yeah. That shows passion. That shows creativity, innovation. That is worthy of the Oscar nomination. Now I'm not saying Boss Baby or Fernet or even Coco doesn't deserve the Oscar nomination, but it's like you know why they're nominated because those those were the well Fernet yeah. wasn't that popular, but they those were the you know. But I had John Cena. I'm surprised. They, 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 those those were, why is Fernet on the list? That's those were the cash in film because those were the, like the money makers because John Cena. Oh. Well, like I said, Coco is a beautiful film. I love Coco. It's but one. it's, it's Pixar. One. All Pixar films are Oscar bait. Yeah. Even if they're amazing. Uh, they're all Oscar worthy. But I mean, Loving Vincent is going to be the underdog in this scenario that I'm going to root for. You, you think under Loving Vincent's going to lose? Oh, yeah. Definitely. It's going to go to Coco. I mean, yeah, exactly. I would put my kidney on it if I still had it. Oh I God. use that scenario so often that I eventually lost it. But other films that came out in 2017. I mean, there's a lot of them. I know. Wow. I know. Damn, we should know. <laughs> I mean, there was Cars 3. Uh, eh. Not on there. There's a, a, detef today, a Detective Conan movie. Eh. The Barbarian? Despicable Me 3. Uh oh, no. I mean, I'm, su I'm surprised, like, the Me Digimon. <laughs> there. Uh, the Emoji movie. Dragon Cry, which is like, the fairy tale f finale. Uh, I mean, and that's also another thing. Like, 
I feel like an like films animated like uh in other countries should be qualified. Um like we don't really see that. Like where are like the anime films? Where's uh like I think your name maybe was twenty sixteen but it came out in the States last year. The Pokemon movie. <laughs> Hell, yeah. I mean, I feel like it's just we have to. That's wait. what I'm saying. There should be other categories. Yeah, we should just. I feel like in, a, in like ten years from now, we won't even be having this discussion. Because you think they're gonna wise up? Yeah, things. Change. I don't think it's gonna happen. You don't think I it's don't gonna know. happen? It only takes one person in the academy to be like, "Yo, get your heads out of your asses." Mm-hmm. That could be us one day. I mean, maybe not one person, but at some point, the academy is gonna change as far as like generations go. Mm-hmm. There yeah. are gonna be people in there who are like, "Yo, but like, why don't we take the animation category more seriously?" <laughs> the, I feel like a lot of them just have the stigma that m- most adults do. Like, oh, well, it's an animated film. I'll, I'll take my children to see this. Uh, yeah, it uh, sucks. May- maybe they'll make me laugh a few times. But, you know, it's for them. It's for the kids. Like, but, it's all kitty. But like, time- that's why there was people taking, like, their children to a uh, sausage party. Because they just saw talking <laughs> cartoons. And somehow the name went right over their heads. They're like, yeah, my son can see this. And then they were surprised when they walked in. Ha- had multiple f-bombs had a giant food orgy dude that's when i like when i saw Coraline. i'm like this is scary like what the and my dad's like you like this i like this i'm like ah <laughs> <laughs> but now i appreciate it <laughs> i'm like this is Pixar. I can't match your dad what, what were you saying that? Tom? <laughs> i didn't mean to cut you off i mean like just generations are gonna change mm. and like i feel like our generation compared to like the last generation has more of a respect for animation past our childhoods mm-hmm. and also you gotta remember like just the entertainment industry in general like is a lot more diverse and not just as far as like the normal definition of of diversity just like traits like this person has a specialization in this category or this category and there are going to be people who are more specialized in animation who are going to get into the academy at some point Mm -hmm. so times are definitely going to affect how they see animation in the future yeah yeah, I, I think that's a good point, and I think art as a, a career path is also becoming a lot more prominent. Oh yeah, at yeah. least more than it's like been before. Hundred percent. So I think that may also have an influence in the future. Now we know more about the industry than ever. It's so open. Mm-hmm. Like artists will talk to you on Tumblr. Like you know what I mean? But like it makes me sad. Like I didn't hear Loving Vincent until it was nominated, and just hear all the pro- like that's clearly not meant for kids. It's I mean, rated PG thirteen. Maybe it didn't get like a wide release. I'm assuming. I think I saw it on the news, and they were like showing it at the DIA or something. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's an art film. That's the life of an art film. It yeah. doesn't have wide appeal. But you look and, cool. And if you that's know what it. makes it sad. Because I, I yeah. feel like. I feel like if they were like, okay, we're gonna make a movie about Vincent Van Gogh, and it was live action, it probably probably would get nominated for an Oscar probably would have done well in the box office people probably would have loved it but since Maybe. it's but I think because it's presented as like oh it was animated each frame's like a painting or each frame is a painting it's like oh well you know now, now it's like artsy and it's all you know like ad- adults won't really care for it because of how it's made I, I think that's complete BS well here's what I'm thinking when they sat down and painted every frame, they weren't doing that to win an Oscar. Yeah, they exactly. were doing it first, so they don't. They don't care. They and probably I, and ahead with the nomination. to say earlier, when I said all Pixar films are Pixar bait or Oscar bait, that's not me saying they're only making it for an Oscar. But, they're just really good. But also, Disney's a corporation. I'm sure every film has stipulations, even if the lobbying is a lot easier. Yeah. Oh yeah. But and I, I think like you know when they make a Pixar film, they, there's a, obviously a message they really care to tell. But I don't think it's solely just for that story. I also do think, like, there are some higher-ups that are like, hey, you know, There's make a cap- sure you include that uh, Oscar band there. There is, a cap- there is a capitalist machine behind every Pixar it, film. Yes. Regardless of how great of an impact it might have. Mm-hmm. That being said, Coco's a great movie. It's gonna put win. It the, put it on the heartstrings. I hope it wins. If Boss Baby wins, it'd be kind of funny. I'd be disappointed, but be, it'd be kind of funny. It'd I want the guy to be like, really? Uh, really? Okay, I guess I'll take it, but... <laughs> Really? Alec Baldwin walks on stage. She's just like, just as I didn't want to do the sequel, but thanks everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's gonna be another boss baby. Not if I can help it. Donald Trump will do it once he's done with his current job. <laughs> right. What if Donald Trump starts doing Alec Baldwin impressions and then Alec gets like really upset? He's like, "Stop it! I don't <laughs> talk like that." <laughs> uh. I mean, you guys have any closing thoughts? Like I said, I just want to see a change. It mm-hmm. bugs me. I think there needs to be more categories for animation if, if you're gonna keep anima- animation separate from everything else then give it more cat give it more to work with yeah. let us know why this film's being uh nominated for an oscar you know if a if a film's being nominated for you know best sound design or the or the best actor where, where it's like you know 
best uh, voiceover artist. Exactly. Uh, there, there has to be more than just oh, this is the best animated film just because it is. Yeah. Like, it get, there's more depth to it. There's more depth to be had here. Yeah, definitely. All right. I think we've said our piece. Oscar, you nomination Academy, you've heard our thoughts. Oscar, come to our house. Oscar, I wanna fight you. Oscar! <laughs> Oscar! 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 Trudy! Mm. Fight me, Oscar. But, but as always, these are just our thoughts and we wanna hear yours. What do you think the Oscars, the Academy, do you think they treat animation fairly? Like, do you disagree with us? We wanna we wanna get more than one side. So please leave your thoughts in the comments below or tweet them directly to us at AustricVox. Retro Nemo. It's Retro Nemo. It's Retro Nemo. Tommy PQM. And at the Roundtable at Roundtable Vids. And also follow Roundtable on Facebook, Instagram, all the same name. If you enjoyed this video, please sort of like, share it with your friends if they care about art, if they're an artist. Or, you know, you're like, come on, guys, animation's really cool. And they're like, I don't know, it's kind of for babies. You never even watch the universe, <laughs> Kevin. I'm like, oh, no, but it's about, like, death and stuff. Then, no, that's 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 your demographic. Um, and if you're new here, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so you can stay in the loop with all things animation. And we've been your host, Ostrick Fox. I'm Richard Nemo. And my name is... Tom. And we're signing out. I know when we gave you the name and told you to memorize it, you said it would be rough, but you gotta say that faster. People think you don't know it. <laughs>